hello everyone welcome back to my channel happy february today we're going to be talking all about goals setting goals where we're at with our goals and just being really honest with you guys about my personal goals for the year so if you're interested in that just keep watching sorry this video is getting out a little later in february to be completely honest january was an interesting month and there was just a lot going on and i kind of just took off like the first week of february just to chill a little and it was very very needed i'm feeling so much better so motivated to just crush things and really get things done so i'm going to go over my january goals kind of an overview of where those are and then recap with my february goals and give you guys some motivation so here we go first we're going to go over my january goals <laughs> So if you watched my January goals video, you would already know the goals that I have in place. Um, but just a quick little recap to share with you. I wanted to read at least two books and I ended up reading five books. So I'm very happy with that. I That's like the one goal that I feel like I just really excelled at. My goal is to get 65 subscribers. That did not happen. I think I got around 20. Um, same with my TikTok followers. Didn't get as many as I was hoping, but... That's okay, we're going to keep working on that. Another goal was to plan our Airbnb. And I didn't think we would be launching our Airbnb till February, but we actually ended up launching it January 17th. We currently have guests staying, and we're booked until the end of March, with some bookings already into May and the summer. So we're actually doing super good on that goal. I'm very proud of that one. And that just goes to show that you make goals and you make a plan to go for them, and then eventually, like... Some of them may take longer, but some of them may happen like really quick. Some of them may just be like, you make this goal and then the next week, oh surprise, like you're already there. So just a little motivation and reminder for you guys. We hit all of our financial goals. Yay, I'm so happy for that. Um, I'm not sharing numbers on that, but encouragement to you guys, financial goals are really just up to your budget. So get your budget for your financial goals. I did not learn one new piano piece like I said I was going to. So this month I have more of a plan on learning a piano piece um, because it just didn't happen last month. And then I had some health goals. So my health goals were to walk three times a week, which happened on two of the weeks in January, but did not happen on the other week. So I really need to get on that one. That was bad. And also like not good for Maui. Like she gets her exercise like we go in the backyard and run and we do take her on some walks but she didn't get walked enough in the month of january and i feel bad about that i also had to lose two pounds which just being completely honest i have been avoiding this scale i am just not ready to know how much i weigh so i actually don't have an update on that goal but i will work on that for next month for sure um and then i had to eat regular meals which i can proudly say i definitely did do i ate regular meals i feel like my eating was very normal like I wasn't really having like disordered eating in any way and that is a big win for me so now that we've like recapped January's goals and kind of let you guys know where I'm at with those I took where I'm at with my January goals and what I want my year end goals to be and then I formed my February goals so to share with you guys my February goals the first goal I have is to read two more books, but specifically I would like to read two Black History Month books. February is Black History Month and I just realized my general lack of knowledge on Black History and like reading Black authors. So um, for sure I'm going to be reading I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou in The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think that's right. Um, I'm almost done with The Hate You Give because I'm listening to it and it is so good so far. I'm really loving it. Okay, sorry if that angle has changed at all. I ran out of space in my memory card, so I had to switch it. But I would like to learn one piano piece this month because it didn't learn one in January, so that's definitely going to be a February goal. And then I kept the goal of walking three times a week, and then I've added the goal of having... This is, like, the only way I knew how to, like, j make sure I was having, like, strictly super nutritious meals. So I made it a goal, which is kind of weird, but to have at least five meals that are either a smoothie or a salad. So that, those are going to be really like nutritious meals that have a ton of veggies and fruit. So I don't know if that's a good way to do it. If you guys have any tips of like how to make healthy goals without making it like restricting or leading to 
more eating issues <laughs> please let me know because i was kind of struggling but i think that's a good idea like just try to have five meals a week that are really really healthy and that's a good way to track it and then i also want to reach 300 subscribers 1000 instagram followers and 500 tiktok followers so just for reference i'm going to tell you my starting numbers for each of those um i have 239 on youtube when i'm filming this 148 on tiktok and 915 on instagram so we'll see at the end of the month how much i grew and to grow i have specific things so this is my whole thing with goal setting and planning if you have a goal you have to set a plan in place to get that goal so for instance if your goal is to get 300 subscribers that means okay i need a little over 50 subscribers in the month of february so what are things that i can do to get more subscribers so where can i market myself how can i connect with other creators genuinely connect with them not just follow for follow sub for sub like genuinely connect with them genuinely make friends can i collaborate with someone can i share with more of my friends or family who maybe haven't subscribed to me yet what kind of content can i make that will get my name out there so if that makes sense that's the kind of plan you have in place so for me i have a hourly goal every day to spend at least one hour on those three platforms combined so if i spend like an hour on instagram one day an hour on tiktok the next day an hour on youtube just for networking so that's trying to find people in my niche people in that make content that i like and content similar to what i make and reaching out to them building a, a relationship following them on instagram dming them sending them comments or likes um letting them know what i like about their videos asking if they want to collab so one hour a day doing some sort of networking as well as like 15 to 20 minutes a day of just like content brainstorming because you know if you just expect these ideas to come to you it's really not gonna happen but if you sit down and you're like okay like what is popular right now in my niche what are videos that are performing really well what are videos that i see that i really enjoy watching and i want to make something and this isn't to copy other creators and be like oh like they made a this video so i'm going to do the exact same thing they did no because like you need to be unique but let's say there's a certain challenge going around that's very popular at the moment like maybe i'll try to incorporate that into a vlog you know what i mean let's just like you gotta like find your niche and find your plan so that's my plan for growing this month whereas last month it was just like posting which is good you still need to be posting but I think the networking and the brainstorming and the like planning behind the scenes is really going to help me get more followers and subscribers and kind of like get my brand out there to more people to see. So that is my tip for you guys for this month. If you have any sort of plan to grow your followers on any platform, you need to put in time to network and to plan your content because First of all, your content has to be good. Like, content is king. Like, you've got to make good content that people actually want to look at or they're definitely not going to follow you for long. And then you've got to, like, network and show that you are a genuine, real person that you actually want to build relationships. If you're just out here trying to get followers so that you have fame and fortune, like, everyone's going to see right through that. They're going to know. But if you're out there because you generally want to, like, meet people, make a difference, share your story share content that just makes people's day a little better and in turn want to like get to know people that is key so those are my goals for february i hope that it was helpful for you guys if you have anything you want me to talk about down below please let me know i'm really getting more into like building a business and trying to build a brand so if you'd like to see more about that in videos let me know as well i'm just researching and finding out things for myself so i can just share the things that i've learned from other people and I would love to hear your goals down below, so please drop me a goal down below. Like, if you even never comment on videos, please comment on this video. Like, please, it would mean the world to me. I just want to hear your goals, and I want to support you. And if you also want to go up the extra mile, you can leave a plan on to how you're going to get that goal. So let's crush the goals in February. Let's make it our year. Let's let 2020 just rest in its grave, and let 2021 rise with the sun okay 
I hope that made sense. That just kind of came out of nowhere. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support, your subscribing, your liking, your commenting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Cannot wait. Leave your request down below. Bye.